I am here with another banger question, and the final result is going to blow your mind. We have a semicircle whose radius is eight units, and then we have these two squares. The location of these squares are nowhere given. It can be anywhere. We just know that these sides lie on the diameter, and these two vertices touch the boundary of the semicircle. Our job is to find the area of these two squares. So, can you solve it? This question is taken from Math Stack Exchange, so a huge shout out to them for this fantastic problem. Now, at first glance, this seems impossible, right? How can we figure out the area without knowing the precise location of the squares? But don't worry, let's tackle this problem step by step and discover the beauty of the solution. Let us first label the sides of the squares as X and Y like this. So, what will be the area of both these squares? It's simple, right? It will be X square plus Y square. Nice. Now, since we don't know the exact position of the square, let us put the center of this semicircle somewhere here and let us call this distance as K. Now, draw this line such that this is a right-angled triangle. What will be this length? It will be the same as the radius of this semicircle, right? Let us call it R. I promise this is the last variable we are using. Now, it's time to use our favorite Pythagoras theorem. We get R square equals X square plus X minus K whole square. Now draw this line such that this is also a right-angled triangle. Again, what will be this length? It will be the same as the radius of this semicircle, right? So put R here. So using Pythagoras, we get R square equals Y square plus Y plus K whole square. Consider this equation. Take x square on left-hand side to get this. Now take square root on both sides to get square root of this equals x minus k. Take k on left side and this part on right side to get this. k equals x minus root of r square minus x square. Now consider this equation. Take y square here and then take square root on both sides. Now take y on this side, and we are left with k equals root of r square minus y square minus y. So far, so good. Now both of these equals k, and hence they are also equal. Now square both sides of this equation and expand using a minus b whole square formula to get this. Look at this beauty. So many terms get canceled out, like x square y square and r square and we are only left with this part square again to get x square times r square minus x square equals y square times r square minus y square expand it once again then collect the like terms and rearrange it to get this now this x to the fourth power minus y to the fourth power equals x squared minus y squared times x squared plus y squared. Oh, look, this also gets canceled out, and we are left with x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Oh, my God, my mind is really blown right now because the area of both these square equals this whole thing, and it is simply equal to r squared, which is equal to 8 square or 64 square units. That was out of this world. Now, if you solve this question using a different method in the comments, I will give your comment a big heart. So good.